lecture on infective endocarditis. It is a very interesting and uh, at least we have a learning objective. And at the end of lecture, the student should know about the recognized risk factor, sign and symptom of infective endocarditis, understanding many approach to diagnose infective endocarditis, the uh, appreciate importance of the treatment, and you must know about the complication, the pediatric infective endocarditis, specific of nosocomial and prosthetic wall, and the specific treatment, and you should know the antibiotic prophylaxis. So it is a, as the name indicate, it is an infection of the heart endocardial surface. Infective endocarditis is an infection of the heart chamber or wall, uh, mostly the inner side, okay? So the wall, the mitral wall, and you are looking the growth on the mitral wall, and uh, here the tricuspid wall, and you also see the certain growth. So the, it affects the wall, the inner side of the heart. So uh, it is mostly divided into the four groups, uh, native wall, infective endocarditis, prosthetic wall, IV drug abusers, nosocomal infective endocarditis. So IV drug abusers are mostly in the adult, but in pediatric, there is prosthetic wall, native wall, as nosocomal infective endocarditis. And it could be acute and subacute. The acute affects the normal heart wall, rapidly destructive, metastatic foci, commonly the organism is stiff. And if not treated, usually fatal within six weeks. So diagnosis is important, treatment is important, otherwise it could be a lethal. In subacute, often affect the damaged heart wall, endolysis nature, if not treated, usually fatal by one year. So in case of subacute, the course is prolonged, but in case of the acute, the six weeks is important and you have to treat that, otherwise it could be a lethal. Pathophysiology, the turbulence blood flow disturb the endocardium, making it sticky. Bacteria, bacteremia deliver the organism to the endothelial surface and it adher adherence of the organism to the endothelial surface, eventually in vein of the valve leaflets. Incidence uh, difficult to ascertain and varies according to location. Much more common in males than in the females. So males are affected more. And may occur in a person of any age and increasing commonly in elderly and mortality rate is from 20 to 30%. So mortality rate is also high. The risk factor, IV drug abuse, artificial heart valve and pacemakers, acquired heart defects like uh, aortic stenosis calcified and mitral valve prolapse with regurgitations, congenital heart defects, and IV catheters, uh, uh, prolonged IV central lines, which can cause the infective endocarditis. So the organism, we should know about the organism which causes the infective endocarditis, the step RES, streptococci, enterococci, and rarely, but uh, could be a fungal pseudomonas and HSA groups, uh, which affects agram negative organisms, mostly uh, affects the heart walls. And how it presents, mostly in acute cases, high grade fevers, fevers with chills, shortness of breath, arthralgia, myalgia, abdominal pain, pleuritic chest pain, back pain. So it is acute uh, symptoms of this infective endocarditis. In subacute cases, the low grade fever, anorexia, weight loss, fatigue, arthralgia, myalgia, abdominal pain. So it, it occurs in the uh, subacute symptom. The onset of symptoms is usually two weeks or less from the initiating of the bacteremia. Patient have fever, heart murmur, non-specific sign, petechiae, subungal or splinter hemorrhage, color being splenomegaly, neurologic change, more specific signs are the ocular nodes, genuilians and growth spots. So you must check thoroughly the patients, the oral cavity for petechiae, the eyelids, the hands, uh, nails, 
for the ocular nodes generally and so it is very important i would like to show you the pics you must remember keep in mind how we will diagnose uh, what are the signs of the uh, infective endocarditis so you should uh, see you should look at carefully and these are the petechiae okay so the petechiae on the body you would see the extremities and in the oral cavity if you say open the mouth and you see the petechia and the oral uh, surface okay and in the eyes you're checking the eyes for petechia in case of the infective endocarditis this is the splinter hemorrhage uh, at the nail beds and around the nails you are looking in this way in both hands so these are the non-specific non-blanching liner reddish brown lions found under the nail beds and usually do not extend the entire length of the nail but uh, it is uh, important to see at the nail bed size and both sides, these are the splinter hemorrhages. These are the ocular nodes. Okay. And the ocular nodes are the painful nodules and mostly present on the hand. Okay. And painful erythematous located even on the pulp of the fingers, most commonly over in these areas. You have to certain nodules which are the painful. If you palpate and patient feels the pain, these are the ocular nodes. So you have to check these in infective endocarditis. And these are the genuilians. Okay, so these are the painless ocular nodes. I have shown in the previous slide. This this is our, these are the painful and the genuilians. These are the painless. So this is the main difference. More specific erythematous macules penless located on the palms and the inner surface of the hand fingers so um, if you suspect a patient having murmur and all sign of symptoms having I mean genuine and serotis spots splinter hemorrhage and if there is any history of iv cannulations or cardiac surgery or in case of the any normal cardiac walls having murmurs and shortness of breath you are suspect a case of infective endocarditis how you will investigate the essential blood taste are the blood culture okay so blood cultures minimum of the three blood cultures Hello. Hello. Ah, yes, yes. Net. 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 So the importance of the essential blood test, uh, you should send the blood cultures for um, three separate, uh, at least venipuncture sites and obtain 10 to 20 ml blood in adults and 0.5 to 5 ml in the children. This is a sample size for the blood culture. Uh, the positive results, the typical organism present in at least the two separate samples, okay? And persistently positive cultures are typical organism. Two positive blood cultures obtain at least 12 hours support. And uh, additional labs, you should send the complete blood uh, count cbc esr crp the complement levels the c3 c4 ch50 rh factor urine analysis baseline chemistry and coagulation profiles are the additional test and if you will do the extra test look for multiple foci focal infiltrates and calcification of the heart wall ECG rarely diagnostic, but look for evidence of ischemia, conduction delay, arrhythmias, 
echocardiography is very helpful you for the infective endocarditis okay so the indication for uh, echocardiography the transthoracic echocardiography first line if suspect in infective endocarditis in native wall if and the transesophageal echocardiography prosthetic valve intracardiac complications inadequate uh, transthoracic echo or fungal or stiff aureus and bacteremia you can do the transesophageal echocardiography so these are the certain diagnostic criteria uh, previously in 1977 the pedras dorf criteria which you did not use nowadays von rien criteria you must know the name but the duke criteria is very important and uh, it uh, included in 1994 included the role of echo in diagnosis and uh, uh, in iv drug abuse uh, predisposing heart conditions the duke criteria is important okay so modified duke criteria microorganism via blood culture or histology in a wall vegetation emboli vegetation intracardiac abscess histologic evidence of the vegetation or intracardiac abscess uh, so the possible infective endocarditis two major or one major and three minor or five minor so what are the major criteria for diagnosis what are the minor criteria for the diagnosis we will discuss in detail and uh, rejected infective endocardial resolution of illness with four days or less anti of antibiotic so the treatment uh, options are parenteral antibiotic and uh, you need the iv antibiotic high serum concentration to penetrate the vegetations the prolonged treatment to kill dominant bacteria cluster and vegetations and blood culture will be the helpful for the usage of antibiotic and uh, surgery is important in intracardiac complications and complications uh, you must keep eye on the complications like embolic uh, complications local spread of the infection metastatic uh, spread of infection formation of the immune complex and glomerulonephritis arthritis so you have to keep eyes on the complications embolic complications occur in about 40% of the patient with infective endocarditis and predictors of emboli are the size of vegetations left sided vegetations fungal pathogens stiff aureus and streptococcus bovis incidence decrease significantly after initiation of the effective antibiotics embolic complication like stroke cns finding you may have found the stroke due to the emboli myocardial infarctions fragments of the vulvar vegetations induce stenosis of the coronary arteries and uh, ischemic limb problem can also occur hypoxia from the pulmonary emboli abdominal pain splenic or renal infarction so this is a septic pulmonary emboli and uh, you are clearly seen on the right side of the chest septic retinal emboli in uh, if you do the retina scope here fundoscopy you might found that one local spread of infection the extensive valvular damage paravalvular abscess 30 to 40 percent most common in aortic valves iv drug abusers stiff aureus may extend into the adjacent conduct uh, conduction tissue causing arrhythmias higher rate of emboli and mortality pericarditis fistula intracardiac connections these are the local spread of the infection okay if you would like to see the wall and aor in all aortic wall this is a perforations uh, with due to the stiff aureus infective endocarditis uh, perforation of the aortic wall and aortic wall vegetations and here the mitral wall the rings okay and abscess formation extending into myocardium the extension of the infection so metastatic spread of infections it can involve metastatic abscess and kidney spleen brain soft tissue or meningitis or encephalitis vertebral osteomyelitis septic arthritis these are the metastatic infection spread of the infective endocarditis so the prognostic factors the poor prognostic factors are the female stiff aureus vegetation size 
aortic valve, prosthetic valve, older ages. And if patient having diabetes, low serum albumin, heart failure, paravalvular abscess, and embolic events. These all are the poor prognostic factor. So major Duke criteria, the positive blood culture of are the infective endocarditis. Typically, microorganism consists with infecto endocarditis from two separate villar sites. And noted the very dense streptococci, step bovis, HSA groups, and commonly the step aureus, enterococci. In the absence of the primary focus, our microorganism consists with infecto endocarditis from persistently positive villar cultures are def defined as two positive culture sample drawn 12 hours apart or eight all of the three are um, majority of four separate cultures with first and uh, last sample drawn up uh, one hour apart so the time duration the site is also important okay the evidence of the endocardial involvement a positive endocardial inf uh, endocardial ECO is important for infective endocarditis as oscillating intracardiac mass or valve or supporting structure in the path of regurgitation, jet or unimplanted material in absence of alternative and anatomic explanations. Abscess, new partial or prosthetic valves, a new valve regurgitations. So ECO is a diagnostic clue. It will give the diagnostic clue and you send the blood culture, which is also a um uh, authentic uh, source for the diagnosis these are the minor due criteria in which you predispose the heart condition iv drug users fever more than 100.4 uh, vascular phenomena in vascular phenomena the major arterial emboli septic pulmonary infarct aneurysm intracranial hemorrhage conjunctival hemorrhage and gene valence. In immunologic, you have two phenomena. You check for the glomerulonephritis, ocular nodes, roth spot, and rheumatoid factors. Microbiological evidence, positive blood cultures, but does not meet a major criteria as noted above. Or serological evidence of active infection with organism consist with the infective endocarditis. Echocardiographic finding consists with a infected endocarditis but do not meet a major criteria as noted above so the clinical criteria for infective endocarditis requires two major criteria or one major and three minor or five minor criteria for the diagnosis purpose so this is all about the infective endocarditis if we diagnose early if we treat early, we will prevent the complications, okay? Otherwise, in case, case of acute infective endocarditis, it is, is a fatal within six weeks. So uh, it is important to diagnose a case of infective endocarditis. And uh, if a patient having history of any surgery, the valve replacement, okay, the prosthetic valves, or uh, IV drug, uh, in case of IV drug abusers, these are the high risk cases so we uh, diagnose early we gave antibiotic to prevent further complications and we should keep eye on the complications like uh, any emboli or um, which kind of abscess formations and they are the danger one we have to diagnose early and treat these cases so thanks thank you very much मोर का ऑप्शन आ रहा होगा लिखा हुआ चैट बॉक्स खोले जी सर और का ऑप्शन लिखा हुआ आ रहा होगा जी 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 उस पर क्लिक करेंगे तो सबसे ऊपर चैट का ऑप्शन आ जाएगा 
ठीक है नहीं है ना अच्छा चैट वाला तो यहाँ पे नहीं खुल रहा है जूम जो है नहीं अच्छा अभी अभी तक कोई किसी स्टूडेंट का सवाल या कोई क्वेश्चन नहीं है जी आप स्टूडेंट से कह देना है कि जो आपको क्वेश्चन करना है वो आपसे चैट बॉक्स में लिखते हैं वो आप रिप्लाई कर ठीक है If you have any questions, you should uh, put in the chat box, and I will reply it. Thank you. Asik bhai. Hello. Ji ji, bolay. Ah. कोई वो तो आया नहीं है मतलब चैट में कोई क्वेश्चन नहीं है तो बंद कर दो ना मीटिंग एंड कर दो सर को सर को बोलें चैट आई है पक्की अहमद की सर को सर को दें मैं इनको एक मामला अभी 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 आई है अभी अभी आई है मैं इनको ऑन करके दे रहा हूं हां ठीक है ठीक है सर ये चैट आई है मैंने आपको अनम्यूट कर दिया आप इनसे डायरेक्टली सवाल पूछ लें सर वालेकुम अस्सलाम सर uh, आप प्लीज रिपीट कर दें जो डायग्नोस्टिक क्राइटेरिया ड्यूस क्राइटेरिया द डिफरेंस बिटवीन मेजर एंड द माइनर क्राइटेरिया इट वाज अ बिट कंफ्यूजिंग इट इज रिटन इन द ऑल द बुक्स ओके इट इज अ वेरी सिंपल वन एंड यू गो फॉर द बिलल कल्चर्स द इको एंड माइनर क्राइटेरिया यू हैव टू लुक फॉर सर्टेन थिंग्स एंड आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू द पॉजिटिव बिलल कल्चर इज वन ऑफ द गोल्ड स्टैंडर्ड्स नंबर 2 इज इको कार्डियोग्राफी ओके and the minor due criteria means the if patient having iv drug abuser patient having fever patient may have a vascular phenomena like arterial emboli septic pulmonary emboli aneurysm intracranial hemorrhage conjunctival hemorrhage janeway lians which i have already so, uh, show you immunologic phenomena patient may have hematuria the glaucoma ocular os nodes growth spots rheumatic fever factor rheumatic r factor and microbiological evidence are rare uh, organisms are the eco finding are not uh, consistent with this one so these are the minor criteria okay patient having a uh, 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 aneurysm conjunctival hemorrhage janeway lians hematuria roth spots r factor are the culture positive which are not uh, convenient to the organism main organism but, and inconsistent uh, if you have any eco finding so you can uh, add as a or patient may having fever and predisposing condition like any heart surgery or iv drug abuse these are the minor criteria so the major criteria the two things first the blood culture and other is a eco cardiogram and minor criteria predisposing uh, condition the fever the vascular phenomena immunologic phenomena micro biological evidence or echocardiogram findings consist with infection of arteries but do not meet a major criteria uh, so in all conditions if two major criteria are one major three minor or five minor criteria if it these are all the positive you can label as infection of arteries thank you thank you sir you welcome any other sir, queries ji sir pooch le koi aur sawal hai to nahi to main class end kar do uh, okay if you have any question you can ask me otherwise we will uh, close the class okay so thank you very much for your uh, kind concentration for listening a very interesting topic and um, i hope that you will achieve a lot how we will diagnose what are the sign and symptom what, what is the due criteria and uh, 
how we will treat this case, what are the complications. So hopefully you learn a lot from this lecture. Okay, thank you. Thanks all. Okay, sir. Allah Allah Allah